As educators, we know that relationships are the heart of our work. That's why we're teachers. We care about our students and we want them to be successful. The Humanizing Online STEM Academy has had a profound impact on how faculty have been able to support our students. So the Online STEM Academy provided faculty step-by-step -step directions and inspiration on how they could leverage technologies to create really powerful interactions with their students. As a result of me taking the Academy, I would say one big change I see is an increase in communication with my students. So if something sort of goes wrong with them taking the class and sometimes they might just silently unenroll and disappear. Now they reach out to me and I've seen a major increase in retention due to that increase in communication. There was a video in the liquid syllabus that, you know, Professor Choate took the time to sort of introduce herself, give us a breakdown of like how the class was going to work, what to expect. Seeing Professor Choate in that video just helps me feel less anxious. It matters that an instructor cares because my first year here, I was super overwhelmed. I didn't know how to communicate. I thought it was organized already, but I had no idea. If you don't have a support system, you feel like you want to give up. There are students that were in my classroom that would want to ask, but they just didn't. Professor Cho actually has one of the nicest layout and canvas that I've ever seen. It was really organized. She provided additional lectures that we could watch videos on and, and sort of just dive a little deeper into the topics to understand. The class was by far one of the most challenging classes I've taken so far. So having the opportunity to go back and listen to her lectures once more made it that much easier to overcome some of the challenges. So it was nearing the beginning of the semester, pretty much just Professor Ayuk and I in the lab, and he then wanted to ask me what my major was. and was probably interested to see that I was not an engineering major or a physics major or anything related to that. Fast forward five quizzes into the semester, I received a quiz back instead of commentary on how I could improve or something with an exclamation point at the end. Consider majoring in three different engineering majors or physics, all caps. A few weeks following that, he then proceeded to ask, so did you consider changing your major? And so I thought that was very encouraging and very motivating. Now, no, I didn't change my major, but just knowing that my efforts were paying off in this course that was difficult for me was definitely very rewarding. One time, I got a lower score on my second exam than my first exam, so she reached out to me and asked me if everything was good. As a student, we have a lot of things going on in our life. It showed that she doesn't only care about my learning, but me as a human being. Because of that one little thing that she reached out to me, that made me do even better on my third exam. It's normal not to understand things the first time around, and being able to establish a good relationship with your professor where you can say, hey, can I talk to you like on a separate note, and can we discuss this a little further? One of the really powerful things about the Academy is that faculty have been able to take what they've learned and apply it to their face-to-face -face teaching. And we have research from our project that shows that students in online classes that are taught by faculty who complete the academy experience high rates of belonging. As you were listening to those experiences of students in humanized classes, you probably noticed that they were talking about little things. Little things that sometimes we think don't make a big difference, but they do. And so as we move forward with closing equity gaps, we need to be sure that we keep instructor to student relationships at the center of our work, whether or not learning happens face-to-face -face or online.